So, welcome to this new video. One of the best features in the Lumix S5 camera is, in my opinion, the contrast system autofocus. Welcome to this video. My name is Paul. I'm a German videographer from Berlin. It's freezing cold here. We have almost March. We have the, I think, we have the 22th February in 2022. That's a nice date. And thank you very much for watching this video. Maybe subscribe to my channel if you want to learn more about this German videography guy. So, the Lumix S5 camera is not known, all Lumix cameras are not known for the best autofocus system. Disclaimer, autofocus in a really professional world is not so common either. Ari or RED cameras, they also don't use autofocus a lot. That's why is there a job called the focus puller invented in Hollywood. So, thank you very much. Welcome to my TED talk. So, autofocus in the camera is nice to have. Autofocus, when it works great, is super cool. I'm totally jealous of the Sony guys, which have the best autofocus system in the world. So, so, Sony has clearly better autofocus, but you can hack a little bit the Panasonic autofocus when you use autofocus, in my opinion, in slow motion. It's one of the best features of this camera. I used the GH5 a lot, used amazing, uh, I used a lot of slow motion in this camera, but I couldn't use autofocus. That was a little bit annoying. Now I can use autofocus in slow motion, which is super cool in my opinion. So, the best hack, the best settings for autofocus are, in my opinion, Use a contrasty image. Use maybe a natural color profile, which is a high contrast scene. Wear high contrast clothing or paint your face like a Schachbrettmuster. Because the contrast system works like it sees two focus, two pixels, compares the focus, how sharp they are to each other, and measures then the focus where the picture is sharp. And it reads basically the screen. The camera reads the screen, and when you wear like green in front of a green background it's not so easy so you have to use a sharp color profile that's better for the camera when you use a vlog system a vlog net color profile it works not so well also you can hack it a little bit my hack works that i film in slow motion 50 pictures per second and i don't use the 180 degree shutter rule i use sharper shutter angle like 120 degrees or even 90 degrees as you can see here you see a little a little difference in the natural motion blur but i think when you use uh, slow motion is it cool to have not the softest motion blur it's cooler to have in my opinion a little sharper image especially when you want to keep when, when you want to see some some details in the frame so the camera measures then the pictures I think a little bit sh faster when you use the faster shutter speed because it reads the screen and when the screen has a faster refresh rate the camera can calculate faster the rate which are the pixels are sharp to each other so use the 120 degrees shutter rule or even the 90 degrees shutter rule and then 100 f 120 frames per second 180 frames per second crops the Panasonic S5 in the APS-C mode and you lose the ability to use autofocus. I think autofocus in this camera is pretty amazing. Now I use AFC mode and I use 180 degree shutter angle with f3.5 in the V-Log. I use the Sigma 24 to 70 mm lens. All my tests were done um, in uh, f2.8 and in different variations of focal lengths. I think um, focus, focus is very nice to have, but when you, when you, I so saw my, my, my settings in the autofocus system are everything on three plus. Responsibility and, and speed is on three plus. I saw it's a little bit extreme. I would not use it for like the, the most talking head scenarios. I don't know, I use it right now. Does that work? I think that could work very okay. No, it loses me again. That's a little bit stupid. And you can tap also on the screen to... Ah, so my, my autofocus settings are not in my uh, V-Log settings here implemented. I have to, I have to change the settings in my vlog settings here um, because I have now saved these settings to a uh, custom mode and yes autofocus is cool use like uh, like I said the shutter angle from 120 degrees um, I know some people say never use a different shutter angle than 180 degrees but I think that's not so right you have to know the rule to know when you have can break the rule when you pan and tilt the camera is it better to use 
180 degree shutter degrees rule, but um, on some scenarios you can change these rules. Change the rules as you want, film as you want, maybe tell me your autofocus settings of the Panasonic Lumix S5. That's a quick video, I'm freezing right now, it's really, really cold. Subscribe to my channel, my name is Paul, see you in the next video. Bye bye.